depression is a huge issue in my family. Um, my father, uh, his father committed suicide. His father uh, had depression issues. My brother has depression issues. My mother was chronically depressed most of my, uh, all of my life. And um, the way that I have dealt with my own issues revolving around those has been to um, deeply explore um, spiritual development and personal development um, through um, exploring past experiences and understanding those. Um, but I deal with uh, my own mental health issues on a day-to-day -day basis through painting. I do emotional energy paintings and I don't do them for anybody but for the pure sake of being engaged in the process and of expressing myself. Uh, I got a bachelor's degree in art and studied painting as an undergraduate and I didn't really uh, continue painting, uh, discontinued painting through about in my 30s or 40s and then we had a I had a dear friend, a young man, who was also a painter who had returned um, to his family home whose parents were friends of mine. And we were exploring um, getting a studio space together and trying to give a space for us both to paint. And it's something we, had talk, we would talk a lot about. Unfortunately, this young man um, was killed in a motorcycle accident and I had purchased him a um, a easel and paints and canvases to give to him for Christmas and was unable to give him that gift and they sat in my living room and so um, in a roundabout way he gifted me back those um, tools and I started painting again except when I approached the painting at this point um, I approached it completely differently. I had always as a child and through high school um, doodled uh, DNA chains in the um, margins of my notebooks. And um, when I started to approach the canvas, uh, I just was scrubbing on paint in that repetitive motion of that circular DNA type of chain and left it. and. Um, when I returned back to the canvas, I could see images out of the wash that I had put onto the canvas. And so I decided to just kind of bring out those images. And in that process of the first painting, um, a dragon appeared kind of hidden with clouds was kind of what came out of it. And given the fact that I had done a lot of study on symbology and so forth, I went to some of my um, books and looked up the symbolism of um, a dragon in a hidden by partially by clouds was actually in there and it represented eternity and I have been painting in that way ever since scrubbing on paint and then waiting for it to dry and then seeing something in um, the uh, wash that I've put on and then just bringing that out and it's always um, I always scrub the paint on in that DNA uh, movement of the chain. I'm not um, disciplined or I don't um, uh, carve out certain times just for the sake of painting. I really uh, go to the canvas when I'm in need to express myself emotionally. When I feel like I have pent up um, emotions that I'm not being able to express or I'm not being able to sleep at night because my chatter in my brain or something. So I, I recognize that if I am in kind of being disturbed or I can feel that there's issues bothering me and I can't really name them or put words to them, it helps just to paint. And so that's why I call them emotional energy paintings because they're expressed with the energy of, of the need to express myself emotionally.